the K-84, and the P-47N take to the skies in a hypothetical encounter. The P-47 is faster and more durable, but the K-84 has four 20mm cannon rounds and a slight horizontal advantage. Now, you're in the cockpit, as we compare the two planes to see which one will come out alive. We're looking at specifications, tactics, and ultimately, who would win on Dog Fights Versus. The Nakajima Ki-84 Hi-80 is considered one of Japan's best single-seat fighters to see large-scale operation here in World War II. It held high speeds reaching that of 426 miles per hour or 686 kilometers per hour and boasted four powerful 20mm cannons. Its excellent service ceiling combined with its high firepower made it a formidable opponent when intercepting B-29 superfortresses. The K-84 could also be loaded with a heavy payload consisting of two 250kg bombs. The engineers took the complaints from the previous model, the Ki-41, and incorporated them into the design of the Ki-84. With this, the addition of armor plating for the pilot and self-sealing fuel tank made the plane much more rugged compared to its counterparts. However, the plane still remained reasonably light due to its light airframe, but the extra weight did impact its turning capability. Now that the Ki-84 has cleared out most of Lay airfield, the tanks can now move in. One main complaint with the Ki-84 were their poor quality and rush production. This resulted in several problems, one being strut collapses in the landing gears. And as the war progressed and the Allies advanced closer to the homeland, the quality of these planes rapidly deteriorated. The complicated direct injection engine required time and care in production and maintenance, but production was rushed and complications occurred. This resulted in difficulty supporting the performance of the aircraft and caused reliability issues.
But another plane, the P-47N, takes to the skies to battle the ki 4 Heavily armed with 850 cal machine guns, rockets, and bombs, this plane means business. The P-47N was the final variant of the Thunderbolt to be produced. Its purpose was to escort B-29 superfortresses flying over the Japanese home island. High internal fuel capacity and drop tanks allowed for this fighter to escort up to 2,000 miles, or roughly 3,200 kilometers. And the squared off wing tips improved its roll rate. The plane was also extremely durable and comfortable. Armor protection for the pilot was transferred from previous variants, and the bubble canopy from the P-47D was also passed down. The bubble canopy created better visibility for the pilot and more space in the cockpit. Besides from escorting, this fighter also played a huge role in ground attack. Its heavy bomb load and ability to sustain heavy damage from enemy fire contributed to its overall success at this role. Armor piercing, armor piercing incendiary, and armor piercing incendiary tracer ammunition manifested deadly results for destroying lightly armored vehicles by being able to penetrate through them and even explode their fuel tanks. Thunderbolts proved so useful that by the end of the war, a total of 15,636 Thunderbolts were built. Now that the P-47s have cleared out the airfield, the Shermans can now move in. It is now time to come to a final conclusion. 
Both planes are very effective at their jobs, but one does it better than the other. The KI-84 has an insane amount of firepower, decent speed, some armor protection, and decent maneuverability, but the p 47 n is fast, heavily armed, and heavily protected. Is it raw firepower that wins the dogfight for the KI-84? Or is it the durability and speed of the P-47N? Well, if equally skilled pilots were to face off in these planes, the P-47N would come out alive. Here's my reasoning. The KI-84 is fast, but not fast enough to outdive or outclimb a P-47N. Even though the KI-84 has some armor, it is very minimal and a few shots of the fuel tanks embedded in the wings would ignite the plane. The 850 cows from the P-47N would easily shred the KI-84. The KI-84 could pull some evasive maneuvers, but it is too heavy compared to other Japanese planes and would quickly stall out in which the P-47N could take advantage of. Who do you think won? Let me know in the comments below or in the poll on the info card. Before today, the P-47N destroys the KI-84, but in the future, we will see who faces off in the next episode of Dog Fights Versus. Hey guys, thank you for checking out the video. If you enjoyed, make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you're new. Don't forget to share this video with your friends. Also, we got new merch out, the Vlad Love t-shirt. If you're unfamiliar with what that means, check out the live streams and you'll quickly understand. Or go to our website and just try to figure it out yourself. If you get the t-shirt within a week, you'll be rewarded with the Vlad Love Discord role, which is very similar to the Broski role. So make sure you check that out, guys. It's only available. The role is only available for a limited time and uh, you'll get it permanently, so it's basically permanent for us. So make sure you check that out. Hope to see you guys in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.